TSU coach, uh, head coach Rod Reed, uh, can you give us just an opening statement about the game today? Well, you know, I thought we started fast. Uh, I thought our kids played extremely hard. You know, going up against an SEC opponent, you know, there's some things you can't do. And, uh, you know, turn the ball over is one of them. And we had a couple of uh, turnovers and some inopportune times. Uh, we, we got the ball down in the red zone twice, and I think we turned it over. Uh, at least, you know, come out of there with six points. You never know what might happen at that point. But, you know, give credit to Vanderbilt. They played well uh, defensively. Uh, I thought we, we had a little more success than I anticipated de defensively. I think our, uh, Coach Parker did a great job, uh, you know, uh, make, drawing up the scheme, you know, to, to get some successful plays. And we thought, we thought that our receivers could be successful on the outside, you know, uh, uh, if they came up and pressed. So uh, we used that early on and we jumped out on them. But um, those guys, man, they didn't, they didn't quit over there. You know, that, they're the SEC team, you know. Uh, we didn't expect this to be easy. We knew it was going to be a fight. But we gave ourselves a chance, but we just kind of let it slip away there in the end. And, uh, you know, they started leaning on us a little bit and ended up, with, I think, over 300 yards rushing. And the Webb kid is always advertised, man. You know, uh, he's, he's just a good back. What are some of the uh, things that, uh, you know, they may have done defensively, or excuse me, offensively against our defense? What were some of the big things that were causing? You know, I think our per their personnel, you know, they, they big this. They played big boy ball a little bit. They bought three, four tight ends in at times, you know, and uh, they ran the power and they leaned on us a little bit. And we were a little short hand on the D-line. You know, Morrow went out uh, again and uh, Ebo was playing with that half an hour. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, you know, they, they did what we thought they would do. Uh, we just missed some tackles. They made us tackle with our corners, and we didn't do a good job of that uh, uh, at times. But, um, you know, we got off the field a couple times. We gave ourselves a chance uh, to be successful. But uh, in the end, uh, they just kind of overpowered us a little bit there at the end. There was a very good crowd on hand, uh, you know, and obviously TSU fans supported very well. What, what do you think this means for the city and and maybe the continuation of this series. I mean, I think it'd be good for uh, for both teams to be able to do that. I know that we brought a lot of people over here, and that, that was a huge crowd out there. I don't know what the, what the crowd was, but uh, I was just glad to see a lot of blue up in the stands supporting these guys, and I know they really appreciate it. I do. Uh, so go Big Blue. <laughs> and uh, last question, Coach. Uh, what you know? What are some of the things that you look to to take out of this and then to build into conference play going forward? I mean, we don't we don't go play football games for more victories. We came over here to win. Make no mistake about it. We came over here to win. But, uh, you know, in every game you take the good and you take the bad. And, uh, you know, we have to accentuate the positive and then we have to improve on the negative. So we'll go back to the drawing board on tomorrow. Uh, we'll get this one out of our system and we'll get ready for conference play next week. Okay. Thank you very much, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Coach. We appreciate it. Really All right. I was just waiting on somebody else to answer <laughs> the question, but Jose.